Showtime, LQ. What's up, everybody out there? Showtime, Sean Porter. Want to tell you to check out Soul Central Magazine. It's your boy, Antoine. Mark Rowe. Crystal. We in here. The champ. Want to know about the man behind the myth of the champion from Northeast Ohio. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people misunderstand. It's not Akron. It's Northeast Ohio. Yeah, uh, born in Cleveland, actually. Uh, spent a little bit of my childhood in Cleveland and then bounced around, actually just around Akron. Uh, I boxed. We had a gym in Akron, but I never lived in Akron. Lived right, right outside in the suburbs and all that kind of stuff. So, so why, why do you think people... Well, I, I just always tell people, man, I, I represent Northeast Ohio, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually, you know, honored and privileged to represent a region as opposed to, to right. just a city. You know what I mean? So, um, but growing up, you know, uh, when I when I box, sometimes we were announced from Akron, right. which is why boxing people still think that I'm from Akron. And then, you know, when we went to, you know, obviously the larger national scale, we we said Cleveland, but you know, sometimes it got always got misconstrued and. Obviously, we got a big man, uh, King LeBron James. LeBron, it's, LeBron it's, respect, it's from respect. Akron, so uh, it makes sense to kind of put us in the same bubble here. But I mean, you in the class all by yourself. I try to be. <laughs> I mean, man, I, you know, I'm honored. I try I'm to honored. be. Thank I'm you, honored, thank you, know? you. I try to be. Um, and it is that's how I was raised. You know, I was always raised to to be my own man to do my own thing. Uh, even now, man, I don't follow any trends. Right. I don't listen to the music everybody else listen to. Everything I live, I was just listening to Babyface. You know what I mean? Oh, That's okay. your hair. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. And I'm 29, you know, so everything I've always done and was taught to do was always taught to do uh, on, a, on a big level and just separate myself from everyone else. So uh, even now you see me at, at the fights and I'm wearing a tailored suit where, where everybody else has the, the jeans off their, off their pants or uh, off their ass. And, right. You know, five or six chains where I, I just have one, right. and, it, and, it represents, and it represents something. Right. Promote myself, you know exactly. what I mean? So that's it, man. That's uh, that's just what, me. What made you want to box? Uh, my dad literally made me box. Respect <laughs> <laughs> to Mr. Porter. Yes, sir. Um, we had, I love telling the story, man. We had a rule when we came to the gym, myself and my brothers. The number one rule when we came to the gym was we weren't allowed to sit down. So hmm. at the early age of four or five years old, my dad had already had me right there in the mirror, showing me my basics, taking me through it. Right. Because while he was training other guys and training himself, he didn't want to sit down just watching or doing nothing. You know, right. so it really just became a thing of it. It grew in it grew in my life, and I grew I grew into the sport and the life of boxing. You know, so at the early age of four or five, doing it in the mirror. Eight years old is when you're allowed to compete. It just made sense that we start competing. And, you know, I really didn't really, you know, have a passion for boxing until I was about 15, 16 years old. Yeah, your uh, amateur career was nice. Yeah. Nice record. I yeah. fought the, the who's the who's of, yes. of boxing, uh, even way back in the amateurs. Man, so. you went pro 2008. Your yes, first, sir. Yes, sir. First fight, you knocked him yes, out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, and it was a quick one too. I think it might have been something like fifty-eight seconds, yeah. or something yeah, crazy first like round that. Knockout, it was a first-round knockout, yeah. And uh, and it was crazy because you know you, you never know what's gonna happen. And of course, I get to the to the spot, and the guy that I was supposed to fight, he ain't showing up. And I'm like, oh snap! Like you know, I've been waiting for this lightweight for yeah. you know definitely for a year. Yes, you know what yes. I mean to do this, but I'm like we've been waiting on this for my whole life, you know. And uh, they flew somebody in real quick, and and we we just. I threw the gloves on, went in the ring, and it, the bell rang, and it was just like, you know, never miss a step. So, 58 seconds. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Respect yeah. to that. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. What would you say would be uh, the highest point of your career so far? Right now, the, publicly, I would say the highest point is is defeating Adrian Brown. Hmm. And I think because he is someone who is so recognized, not only in the sport, but to the to the public, you know, for the things he's done in and out of the ring, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people want, wanted him to lose. A lot of people wanted to see him get beat. Um, you know, whether they, you know, like didn't like him for the things he did in the ring or the things he did out of the ring. You know, so in a lot of ways, I became that savior, the, the right, one who, right. you know, it's pretty much, yeah, taught yeah. him his lesson. You know, so it's it's so crazy because ever since I fought him, I've gone and I've, I I think I'm. 
actually it might be one and two since I fought him. And uh and um or or what I think uh no 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 I fought him and then I had the, the Thurman fight but in in that, that radius right there, people still even though I lost to Thurman, they still hey man we thought you beat Thurman, but hey, you beat Adrian Bryan, man. Right, like, right. It's like, like, dang, like you know, you, that's the one that that hasn't gone away yet. So. I mean, but since him being from Cincinnati, Ohio, and you were being from East, yeah. Like, do you guys talk, or how is it since that? Um, well, since that, every any time we see each other, it's, you know, it's always love. You know, we we're always respectful of one another, and even prior to, you know, uh, he did some antics, you know, leading up to the fight uh, publicly and in, in different. Um, Press conferences and stuff but like that. A lot of time, that's for promotion. That was for promotion, and that was also, you know, he did everything he could do to beat me before we got into the ring. Right. You know, it's what I mean? always a head game. And then, yeah, and and you know, even that didn't work. You know, but you know, even going beyond that, we're still very cordial with one another. That's good. You know, I respect to him too. You know, um, yes, sir. This is a hard game. Very. So people think, oh, you know, it's all talk. Until they get in that ring, mm -hmm. and I, I've watched you, and uh, we met outside of, you know, your gym, which is very, very nice. Thank you. Um, and I feel, you know, you're so humble. Yes, sir. Does that come from Mr. Porter, or just that's just who you are? Who, who, Mr. Porter, my dad. Yes. Uh, honestly, I would say no, and and this is the reason why I say no is because yeah, I think this is just who I am. It's who I've always wanted to be. Uh, I remember I, I played football my whole life too, and I remember after I scored my first touchdown, I did the Heisman Trophy pose. Right, I, I right. didn't know no better. The ref ran up to me and said, "Hey, you do that again, and we're gonna we're gonna throw a flag." And I'm still young. I don't know. All I know is somebody yelled at me for for celebrating. That was right. all I knew out of that. I didn't know what getting penalized was. I didn't know what a flag was. And of course, I'm walking to the sideline, and my dad I, he knows what's going on. So he said, "Hey, man, don't do that. What are you doing? You know." Hey, you don't want to talk me that, right? <laughs> you know right, I mean? right. But I, that's a moment that I'll never forget because it let me know really quick, and that, that I don't, I, I don't even remember that record. He probably don't even remember me, but it taught me a lesson at an early age that even though you you do something that's great, just be appreciative and let everybody right. else appreciate it. You right. don't have to be the one to really, you know, signify what you did. You know, so that's just really how I grew up, man. Um, and, and then the other man as well is Barry Sanders. I watched yeah. that man run touchdown after touchdown, never so. hand the ball to the ref, yeah. never celebrate, never crack a smile. And uh, I just really, really uh, respected him and, and looked up to him growing up. So I, I would really say those two, those two little things right there, why I am who I am. Because I watch you in your interviews, and I mean, I'd be like, this guy is humble, man. It's like, you know, and it's not like a facade. It's not fake. You can see it's real. Well, I'm God-fearing, too. I'm God-fearing, and, and I understand that, you know, God doesn't like anyone who boasts. Right. That's not why I don't boast, but I think what you see when you see me doing interviews and all that kind of stuff, it's just me trying to be the best uh, figure of God that I can be. You know what I mean? So I never really want to do or say anything that's going to, you know, rub people the wrong way or make them feel any, have any less respect for me or anything like that. You know what I mean? And I so, think that's what it is. A lot of people have so much respect for you. Mm -hmm. And it's not just how you putting hands on people is how you carry yourself. Yes, sir. Yes, but sir. Putting hands on people? Yes, sir. <laughs> it definitely it helps. Yeah. But for it helps. how you carry yourself, and, yeah. and, and man, I, I just appreciate it. Like I said, I've seen you out. You're humble. You, you talk to people. You don't mind taking pictures. Mm -hmm. I mean, just, just let some people know about the man. I really, I feel like that's how I'm supposed to be. And, and along with that, I, I try my best to set an example for not just the boxers, but all the other athletes coming into their, their professional sports. You know what I mean? We see a lot of guys who end up broke really quick or they get in trouble really quick and their, their draft uh, status goes down. Right. Goes plummeting right. really quick. And it's, I, I want to be that example that, you know, you don't have to go out there and spend money on all the lavish things because they're not going to last. What's going to last is your reputation how you treat other people because they're going to go and tell somebody else. You know exactly. what I mean? So that's really it, man. Now, I try to, you know, just have as much fun as I can. Uh, clean fun is what I call it. That means I'm always playing Monopoly cars or going to the movies. You know what I mean? 
and I and I like doing karaoke. So so when 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 what's when we gonna uh, see a, a, a Mrs. Porter, a little little Porter's coming around? I'm not sure, man. Uh, I have this one lady in my life. Um, she we've been together now for three years, going on, That's good. and uh, everything is solid, you know. So obviously, uh, for me, that was what I was taught, you know. Even though I was I didn't grow up in a, in a in a family that was, you know, they did the marriage and then they did they did us. I was always taught marriage and then kids, you know. So. I'm trying to do it the right way. And of course, we, we speak about those things. So maybe soon, maybe soon. That's good, man. Yeah. That's good to hear. I mean, 29 years old. Yes, sir. I mean, right now, you're at the top of the world, man. I tell you what, man, at 29, I, I can honestly say I haven't made too many mistakes. Uh, no mistakes that, that, that have been, you know, uh, uh, long lasting, you know. So, you know, at this point, for me, it's just a matter of, Continue to stay focused on this career that I have right now. Uh, trying to move into some other things and, and and develop other things that way. When I'm done boxing, you know I have some things that are that are long lasting, and I'm able to you know just be the long, uh, the, the fruitful, uh, respectful person that you see now. So tell us about your up and coming fight. The up and coming fight, April twenty second. Mm, um, I, I, yeah, happy birthday to you, April twenty second. Yes. I know you will be tuned in. Don't ask for the shout out after because I'm going to forget. I'm going to let you know right <laughs> no, now. No, I would not really put that pressure uh, on you. But honestly, I'll say it right now on camera, man. I would love to come back and, and be able to celebrate my victory along with with your birthday. That. So I, I know you would love that. I yes. would too as well. So okay. we got that. Uh, April 22nd, I got Andre Berto, who is um, very, very uh, well known and respected in the yeah. boxing game. Yes. Shout out to Berto. Um, I'm not sure of his record, but he's done it all. He's a beast. He has held the you know number of championships, and yes, yes, sir, he is a beast. He's a, he has a warrior spirit, and that actually everybody's looking forward to this fight. So couldn't be more humbled and and, and uh, excited. So where's the fight? Where this fight's gonna be at the Barclays Center. Uh, for anyone out there who doesn't know, that's where um, where the Brooklyn Nets play. Right. So. Uh, I'm excited. This will be my third fight there. The last fight was there. Every time I go out to New York, everybody's asking me when I'm coming back. So I'm happy to be going back to Brooklyn on April 22nd. Well, you know I wish you the best. Yes, sir. I want nothing but the best for yes, you. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I appreciate sir. it. Thank you. Tell everybody where they can find you at. God bless everybody out there. Keep checking this, man. Now you can check me out. Showtime Sean P on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. God bless you. We'll see you soon. Soul Central Magazine. That's where we at. What's up, everybody out there? Showtime, Sean Porter. Want to tell you to check out Soul Central Magazine. It's your boy Antoine, Mark Rowe, Crystal. We in here, the champ. <laughs>